Do you like the new tires, Neil? <coughs> That's good. That's a yes. What's up everyone, this is Ken, also known as T-Hill. Today I'm finally gonna put on my summer rims and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. The first part, I'll be going through the whole process of mounting the tire to the rim, balancing the tire, removing the winter tires, and mounting them on the summer rims finally. I know it's not for everyone, so at any time in this video, feel free to use the chapters below and look at what the finished product looks like. You won't be disappointed. So let's get right into it. I just finished loading up the uh, Trinity, uh, my Model Y with my four rims and four tires and I want to show you guys how it all fits. If anyone's questioning the amount of space in the Model Y, this, this shows it right here. So yeah, I wanted to throw out some of the boxes, but look at that. There is two rims right there, four tires right up here. I had to remove the, the little slot that goes here, the little cover, because it wouldn't, I have my rim down here and some cardboard down there just so it doesn't damage anything. Let's see if it all fits first. Let me make sure. And then I have a rim up here as well. So let's get to my buddy's house, or my buddy's place to put on these tires. For this next part, if you're only interested in how the tire looks after it's mounted, feel free to use the timestamp below in the description. The process here is to lube up the side rail of the tire and then push it down with the machine. Next, it puts on the valve stem and uh, pumps up the tire and it's ready to go. Each tire takes roughly two minutes to mount on with the rim. Once that is done, it's ready for balancing. Next, the balancing process is a whole different machine. Here you see my buddy putting on these little weights that's to balance the tire. If you are experiencing your steering wheel shake rapidly, especially on highway speeds, that's most likely is because of your unbalanced tire. Get that checked out immediately. One eternity later. Hey guys, you guys remember this guy? He's uh, Rich over here, he helped me with the mud flaps. Hello. And yeah, today we're gonna be finally installing the, the rims. Let's just walk inside here. It's a beautiful day to change the summer tires. So yeah, we're gonna get started right here. First thing we need to do is get the pox for the jacking. So they're over here. One, two, one, two, three, four. These pucks are used to make sure you don't damage the battery. Next step is to remove the Gemini hubcaps, which is really easily done with one hand. After that is done, jack up the car, remove the lug nuts, and remove the wheel. Make sure to have something like a big garbage bag handy as you will have to transport these tires back home without getting the interior super dirty. And we're finally at the last step. Make sure to set your torque wrench to 129 feet pound as stated in the Tesla manual. Unless you want to play Russian roulette and have your tire fly off at any time. You do you. That's it, repeat three more times and you're all done. Now let's see the finished product. You guys like Trinity's new makeover? I know I did. Please hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. T.O. out. Yeah.